What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna talk about the Vulcan, Vulcan Plaza, right? A newly added area that allows you to play mini games which is kind of fun. If it's not fun, I'm not making videos though, but it is kind of fun. There are seven in total, I think, and we are gonna provide you with tips and tricks to help you with these games and also which one is rigged and which one's not. So, well, to begin, first of all, make sure to take these screenshots of the three maps that appears in the maze minigame. The green dots represent where you're gonna spawn, reds represent the mimes, and the flags represent walls that you can't walk through. I think I missed some of the mime spawns, but your spawns actually matter more. So it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Based on where you spawn at, you can verify which map you're in right now and find a way accordingly. As you can see in this clip, I'm reacting to my spawn based on the three maps on the screen to navigate the paths. This mini game is actually the fairest of them all because not only can we beat the, the game master, but we also beat him hard. It's not even close. So I definitely recommend doing this first with the maps that I showed you earlier. So the Whirlpool one is definitely one of the harder ones, but it's still completely possible. And it's also the only minigame here that doesn't have like a two minutes restriction. Instead, you have to find the des designated Pokemons within the time limits for each round. Um, it's going to re be reduced by like one second or something, uh, but it's totally doable. You're going to have to rely on your eyes this time. It's confusing, I know. But maybe you can get lucky and some of the fishes might just swim in straight lines sometimes. You never know. Here's my run. Now, Griddle is actually possible that you can beat the GM here. I'm sure if given enough time, everyone could have find like a way to do every single one of these. But the catch is that you only have two minutes. So you actually have to keep moving and think while you move. That's what makes it challenging and also fair, you know. There's not actually anything I can give you in this minigame though, except for the fact that if you do it long enough, you start to recognize the patterns faster and react better for each griddle you see. Uh, so yeah, just play more and get used with it, I guess. Here's my run.
Suzu says it's also a fair one, but you need to be quick as well. Fortunately for you, the Suzors don't change the way it moves ever. So once you've reached like round 10, uh, which is like basically the winning round, right? Because uh, the GM has nine nine wins so you basically knows how to move to win the gm already uh here's i'm showing you my run as well so you can actually write it down for the hard rounds and just move based on this clip uh i also like lower the the speed so you can like maybe pause the video anyway and uh, or like you know just just put the the playback speed rate at like 0.5 or something so you can actually write it down and uh yeah it's gonna be easier this way um you don't have to memorize anything just you know but if you want to do it raw though i recommend you looking at the scissor when you actually do yours because you don't look at it yourself you look at it yourself you can't like uh, memorize it it's actually like a muscle memory right there so if you look at the scissor it's more likely that you're gonna remember than looking at yourself but yeah that's that's basically it this game is quite easy uh but you need to do it fast as well that's why i changed it to my phone anyway and it was it was also the same to uh griddle i guess because my phone is not as laggy as my laptop but the screen is pretty small so uh yeah sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I think rapid spin is probably pretty fair. Uh, I have some couple of issues with it though. It's because my laptop is so lucky I can't do this ever. And if I move it to my phone, every time a friend logs in, I'm going to get stuck like in two seconds, like a, a, a spike of lag. So it's pretty annoying. Either I unfriend all of you, which I'm not going to do, or I pray that in the span of two minutes that I'm doing this, no one is going to log in. And here is actually one of the runs that no one locks in, so that's pretty good. Um, about this, I always try to cross the finish line on the very left hand side so that I can uh, you know, minimize the time that I need to do this. And also, if you see moving snake, don't be scared because if you like cross the finish line on the very left hand side, you're going to be able to run straight toward them and dodge them in this pattern I'm showing in this clip right here. And it's actually better that you see a lot, a lot of snakes, just not in a row, but if you see them separately and a lot of them, it's actually better because it takes less time to dodge them than to dodge all these obstacles. It actually takes more time if a uh, laps contain a lot of obstacles. Uh, the snake one is very fast, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, and yeah, there's no time to waste in this mini game, obviously. So if someone locks in in the middle of all of these, I probably failed already. So yeah, thank God. Fiery Dance is quite a weird one because I'm pretty sure you need to do this a lot to get used to the pattern they are showing right here or you can just get extremely lucky and get all of the easy one but I got a fair amount of uh, difficult one in this so I'm pretty confident also the more you do you're gonna get more familiar with this stuff and recognize the pattern and also develop a muscle memory just like other games so this one is kind of interesting but you also need luck just a little bit not a lot, 
uh, but yeah, just make sure to do this a lot. And uh, here's my successful run in this, where I happen to stumble upon the combination that I need to win. If I should stay or be alone, won't you make up your mind? Cause I'm getting tired of overthinking every move you make. And I can help you decide Who you're loving now And how I'm not quite there somehow My intuition says to give you up But my heart can easily let you go Such Rush is also quite interesting, I would say. Uh, in this mini game, it's probably like the only one that I'm gonna use a cheat for this. Well, technically, it's not a cheat. It's just like a, an abuse of a system. It's just how it works. Do you remember the ice skating stuff? This probably works the same thing. Uh, works the same way because if you press the escape button in between, uh, you're gonna stop in the middle, and then it's going to be much easier to catch these paths. So if you see no paths falling down, make sure you touch one side. Uh, it's because they only fall down when you catch one or when you touch one side or the other one. So if you want to pause in the middle, that's also possible. So make sure you time it right and uh, everything is going to be easy from there. You don't need to do this though, but if you do it the legit way, it's kind of tough because you need the RNG for that, you know, the, the luck, the extreme luck or something like that. Because you need to, uh, this path to like fall uh, directly into you in like a particular order. And that's not very optimal. So I suggest you should do this one instead. And uh, it's kind of easy this way. Uh, you know, maybe after like five times you're going to get uh, used to how and when to press the, es the escape button. And uh, that should be it. Whack Amoongus is gonna be the last minigame that I covered here and it's sad to say that the, it's the only minigame that I couldn't complete. Why? Because it's kinda rigged, you know, with my speed on my laptop that's not possible, but if you have a better device, even if you have a better device, then you need at least like, at least like two or three shiny Amoongus at the same time before the cycle runs out, it's approximately about like 8 to 10 seconds I think uh, each time so you need to be extremely lucky like every time before the reset and uh, they're gonna change the pattern and stuff and that is not fair that is completely trash garbage mechanic and you need only you have only two minutes I can't imagine doing this without any tricks though and it's kind of weird because I've seen people complete this work before but they never showed it so it's kind of sus but anyway you need to be extremely lucky uh, at the end of the day and uh, i can't imagine that i'm gonna have to have that luck if you're like average an average person you would never complete this mini game if you get lucky though make sure you have a good device because mine is, is not even possible it's not even close 
the best I got with was 150 and that is when like everything is smooth no one locks in and stuff if someone locks in in the middle yeah no I'm not gonna be able to complete this one sadly but hopefully you can and that's gonna be it for today's video and um, I do this just because it's fun uh, I don't do this just because you need to fight a boss or something like that after that. I don't actually remember. But hey, Victini is coming. But it can't let me create. What a surprise. And you guys probably going to be stuck with uh, some of my pre-recorded videos as well. So at least you can have fun with that before the true arrival of the Victini. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.